Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores here to show you how to convert my fluorescent light fixture in the shop from fluorescent to LED. There's three kinds of bulbs. There's an all-purpose, there's a shunted, and a non-shunted. So I've got this fixture here. They're all only like 10 years old, but this one, these are electronic ballasts, and this one gave up the ghost. I found out that when I went to buy a bulb, an LED replacement bulb, I found out that they actually come in three different kinds of bulbs. They make a bulb that's a direct replacement. This will go in to a fixture that already has a ballast in it, or we can feed it with 115 volts from either end, and this bulb will still fire. So this is a three-way bulb. It's a multi-purpose bulb. But I don't want to use a three-way bulb in a ballast because I'm still using the electronics of the ballast to light the LED. And that ballast is going to fail someday, and then I'll have to go maybe go buy a, a bulb that's not ballast-driven when I rewire it. So the purpose of this video is to show you take off the ballast or bypass the ballast so that you can just take and have 115 volts line current going right to the bulb. No ballast required. So they make two kinds of bulbs. They make a, a non-shunted LED bulb where the electricity, the black and white wire, take and feed right to one end of the bulb. Now the fixtures, the bulbs that do that, they have an L and an N and the end of the bulb, which means line and neutral. The neutral is usually the white wire, the line is usually the black wire. If you're not sure, get an electrician, get it proofed out for you. So you make a bulb that's fed from the end, so the line and neutral can be on one end. This is a non-shunted bulb. Then they make a bulb, because a lot of fixtures, when they wired the fixtures, the tombstones that the bulbs clip into, they send all the electricity to one end of the bulb, and the other half the electricity they send to the other end of the bulb, and the two prongs are shunted together inside the fixture. So they're not two separate posts inside this fixture. They've been bypassed, so there's only one. So then you gotta buy a shunted bulb that's built to take electricity, one wire on one end, one wire on the other end of the bulb, so the line's one side and the neutral's the other. So there's three kinds of bulbs. There's an all-purpose, there's a shunted, and a non-shunted. So when I go and I take a look at this fixture, I have to figure out, can I get to the other end of the bulb or not? If I can't get to the other end of the bulb, I need to take and get non-shunted bulbs so I can put my line and neutral wire on this one, line and neutral on this end, and then I can take and wire it in. So here we are on the table. I've got my multi-purpose bulb, and I'm just going to show you how a shunted wiring, how simple it is. Here's my power, my alligator clip, so the black hot wire goes to line. The neutral, I have just running through a little pigtail over to the other end of the bulb for the neutral. So the white wire goes to one end, the black wire goes to the other end, just to show you how this bulb works with the power coming in on opposite ends of the bulb. Okay. So here's how I'm going to do a shunted version is the black and white wire, the black goes to line, the white wire goes to neutral, and I hook it up. And now this bulb will fire being fed just from one end. There is no wiring at the other end of this bulb. All the power can be done at one end, that end's just the dummy. The whole purpose of the video is to show you there's three kinds of bulbs. When you look at your fixture, you figure out that you can send all the power to one end or you have to go to each end. Then when you buy the bulbs, you won't buy a bulb that you won't be able to adapt to your light fixture. So knowing that in advance will save you some time and effort, plus now you're a lot smarter going in than if you're just going to go LED knowing nothing. There it is, quick tip, LEDs from MrHardware.com.